Hi guys, this is Gabriel from Catspace. Um, this week, what I actually wanted to do is something a little different. I um, wanted to share something that I just um, happened to do a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I was working on my car and I actually pulled out the glove box. There's a couple of clips there and I must have pulled it too hard and I actually snapped off the, the end of this clip here. So what I wanted to do is, I mean, I've got a 3D printer at home, so I thought I'd actually draw it up in SolidWorks, 3D print it out and just save my myself some time and money instead of going and buying one. Um, so this is just what it looks like on the side here, just another angle, and just this is where it actually snapped off. Just wanted to show you what I'm working with here. So essentially what I did is I, I just created a new sketch, inserted a sketch picture. Um, if you need to ask me what that is, just send me a comment and I'll show you what it is. Um, and then I actually just traced it around. I made sure that the scale was correct and I used this um, circular, this diameter here to as a, as a reference point and that was 10 millimeters. Um, so this is a broken part, just made a little bit thicker than than um, what was there before, just so hopefully you can um, take a little bit more strain for next time. Um, so I didn't want you guys to watch me trace all of that, um, so that's pretty good there. So what I'll do is I'm just going to close this sketch um, and I'm just going to hide it. So what I've done is just, just um, separate into just different segments um, and I'm just going to build it up like this. So initially I want it to look like this, um, and actually it's an inch wide, so I'll make it 12.5 and then I'll mirror it to the other side. Okay, so that's the first part. Um, I want to do this side here as well. And I don't want it to go all the way, I actually want it to go um, maybe 7.5 millimeters. So. Okay, I want to do the bottom side as well. It's like this dark blue sketch. And yeah, that'll be 7.5 as well. Um, it's actually smaller um, in the actual real clip, but I wanted to make it a little bit stronger, a little bit sturdier. So I'm just going to hit OK. Now this last bit is a cutout um, here. I don't actually need it, um, but just to try and get it as close as I can to the clip, I thought I might add it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just draw a sketch and just convert all of this chain to another sketch at the top there. Okay, and that means I can just extrude cut this, and I'll do that for three millimeters. I can just hide this sketch too. So that's basically what my clip will look like. Um, just quickly mirror the other side. That's my plane, and bodies to mirror is all of this. Okay, so that's my clip. It's pretty quick and easy to draw. It's just tracing around the image. So I just need to save that now. Um, as an STL file. That's what I use for a 3D printer. Um, and then I'll show you that in a second. So the 3D printer that I have is actually an Up Mini. So this is the, the program that I use to actually um, load in the, the programs, load in the models. So I'm just going to insert in the car hook that I just created. So there it is. Um, just need to rotate a little bit. And I'm going to rotate it about that X axis. Just one. So I want to print it like this. Just minimize the amount of support that I'll need. Okay, and that's all I need to do. All I need to do now is hit print. Just quickly change my settings, preferences. That's fine. And then just hit OK. So that was a quick time lapse of the 3D printing process. Um, it actually took about 20 minutes and it used about four grams of, um, of plastic there. And you can see the, the end product is here. Um, it's you know quite similar size. It's, it definitely would uh, serve the purpose, just another different angle. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Otherwise, catch you next week. Bye.